Hello everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 6.2.3.7 Troubleshooting a VLAN Implementation Scenario 1. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Routing and Switching Essentials Version 6 curriculum. Now in this one we have some stuff already configured but we want to go in and troubleshoot it. Now one thing you'll notice is I went ahead and put in these labels here. You can just click the label icon and you know just put one in there all right um, you can't move them after you do them that is locked but I went ahead and put those labels in there so I could easily see what was from the address and table so they tell you PC 1 and 4 in VLAN 10 PC 2 and 5 are in VLAN 20 and PC 3 and PC 6 are in VLAN 30 so I just went ahead and did that so to be easier on the eyes um, now we want to be able to see can uh, you know the PCs ping each other we can also just go to the switches right and see what may be the issue so on switch 2 if we do a show VLAN brief we'll see that we've got VLAN 10 20 30 99 all right so in VLAN right here we'll notice port FA 018 is assigned to VLAN 20 FA018 assigned to VLAN 20 for PC2, that's correct. VLAN 30 is assigned to FA06 down here at the bottom, which goes to PC3, and FA011, which goes to PC1. This one is wrong. FA011 should be assigned to PC10, as you notice, or sorry, VLAN 10. As you notice, that is not correct. So let's go into configuration mode. You can also do a show run, and it'll also show you right below here. Uh, you see right here it says switch port access VLAN 30 for FA011 going to PC1. That's not right. So what we want to do is go into interface FA011. And we can do no switch port access VLAN 30. Switch port access VLAN 10. So that's the VLAN that we needed to be in. Now if you go back and do a show VLAN brief, you need now see that that's correct. Okay, now some other stuff under show run is we want to make sure our uh, ports are in access mode that go to the end devices. So FA011, FA06, and FA018, as well as them being in the right VLAN. Now we covered the right VLAN stuff while ago, and we see they're in access mode. So we're okay there. Now, while we're here, let's look at G01. G01 going to S1 needs to be in trunking mode. Okay, so G01 we see is in switch port mode access. That is not correct. We need switch port mode trunk. So G01 carries multiple VLANs. So interface G01, switch port mode trunk. Now that'll override switch port mode access, so you don't necessarily have to do the no command there. But we want to go into interface G01 and make it a trunk. Now, we notice it is also native VLAN 99, so we just want to make sure that that's consistent across the other trunk links. Now, let's just go walk our way across the network. S1 has no end devices connected to it, so nothing to worry about there. We just want to go in, do show run, and let's look at G01 and 2. G01 on the other end here is also an access mode. It does have the right native VLAN, but it should not be in access mode. It should be in trunking mode. G02 is correct. It is in trunking mode, and it has native VLAN 99. So let's fix G01. Interface G01, switch port mode trunk. Okay, so that fixed that. The other one was correct. So now if we do a show run again, okay, they're both in trunking mode native VLAN 99. Now let's go to S3. Okay, I'm actually going to check the G02 port first. So G02 switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk native VLAN 99. There is no G01 connected, just G02, so that is correct. Now let's look back up at our port assignments. So FA06 says is in switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20. Okay, FA06 is going to PC6, that should be VLAN 30. 
So let's fix that. Interface FA06 again should be in VLAN 30 because it's going to PC6, not VLAN 20. So interface FA06, switch port, access VLAN 30. Okay. And it can only be in one uh, access VLAN at a time. So you can just type it in there. It'll override what was there. All right, FA011, it says is in VLAN 10, switch port mode access. That is correct. And then FA018, it says is in VLAN 30. That's wrong. It should be in VLAN 20 because it's going to PC5. So again, FA018, we need to change to switch port access VLAN 20. All right, so we want to make sure that is correct as well. All right, now that gives us 50 out of 70. We've pretty much covered all of the three issues that could be wrong. Ports assigned to the correct VLANs, we got that fixed. Ports configured for the correct mode, we got that fixed, whether it was access or trunking. And then ports connected to the correct devices. We got all that working, okay? Now, let's check the actual IP addresses of all the PCs, because that could be wrong, too, in troubleshooting. So PC1, 172.17.10.21, 255.255.255.0. We don't need a default gateway because we're not connected to a router. PC2, 172.17.20.22. That's right. PC3, 172.17.30.23. That's right. PC4, 172.17.10.24. That's right. You'll notice this is on the same subnet as the other one. PC5, 172.17.20.25. That's right. PC6. 172.17.50.26. That is not right. That should be 30.26. Okay. That gave us 10 more points because that IP address was wrong on PC6. We need to change that to 172.17.30.26. Okay. And then lastly, we want to make sure everything's plugged in the correct port. Just because we configure FA011 on switch 3 or FA018, that doesn't mean these are plugged into the correct ports. So here, we just want to make sure that they're plugged into the correct port. That one's FA011, FA018. If we can get our mouse hovered over here. Um, let me delete my... All right, uh, this one over here, we want to make sure it's plugged into FA06, FA018, FA011, and I believe it was the FA018 or the FA06, but one of them gave us some more points because we unplugged it and plugged it back into the correct port. I can't remember which one it was. I didn't mean to actually click on it, but just again, you want to make sure you go through and make sure all these are plugged into the correct port. All right, um, now that gives us 70 out of 70 and you kind of see what three things we want to check as far as configurations then you want to check the ip addressing on the pcs there is no ip addressing right now on the switches until we get to inner vlan routing right now just vlan to vlan like same vlan intra vlan like within the same one can talk to each other but the next lab we're going to talk to each other across vlans